Hey guys, and welcome back to the Pseudo Studio here at Punisher's Paintball. We are almost there and ready to give you guys more details on what's happening with the studio situation, but not quite, just bear with us. Today, we bring you a review, the new Carbon CC Pants, the Pro Pants, if you will, versus the Pro DNA from infamous um, ACP Joggers. Today, we're gonna be kind of comparing these two, what's good, what's not, price differences, everything we can possibly think of to talk about. I'll be doing this one myself. Might put them on for you, might not. Might not be that lucky today, but um, if you guys do like this video, please give a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let us know what you thought. If you've used these, I'd love to hear your experience using either one of them. Also, when you're done watching the video and you're ready to purchase either one of these, there's a link in the description that you can use. Thank you. We'll catch you after the intro. I'm so free. All right, so let's get right into this here. So uh, there's immediately a price difference for the two of these, right? So the Pro DNA ACP jogger here is $129. The new Carbon CC comes in at $149. So difference of roughly 20 bucks here. So what are you really getting for that price difference? I'm gonna start off by stretch these pants out a little bit. Just wanted you guys to be able to see some of the design that's here. For the Carbon, you have a way simpler design which is more expensive, but you're getting technically less in that way because a little more branding on here, a little bit of a kind of a cooler logo, especially the placement, and it is all over. <clears throat> it's on both legs. It's on both um, squeegee pockets, and you get a little bit of color pop up here on the waistband. Um, but we'll just start top down, okay? So we'll go with, open these up so you can see the back of both of them. Waistbands, really good stretch on the Pro DNA, on the infamous version. <clears throat> Not as much stretch on the Carbon, but I think that that allows them to be more um, true to their size of what they are. Now I will say, I've tried these on before, these tend to be, they run small. So I typically wear a large for most pants and joggers. For these, I would, I would better fit an XL. Um, over here, it's a little more loose kind of thing. There is a drawstring with plenty of room to cinch it in tight or stretch it out, so that does help, but <clears throat> I think with the initial size itself is relatively formed to your waist, I think that's very helpful. Um, as far as material though, this is really heavy. This would get really annoying, really hot. Um, comfortable, soft on your body. It's not harsh or digging into you or cutting you, but really heavy, so not totally sold on that, versus here, also not cutting, not sharp edges, nothing like that, still plenty soft. Way lighter though, <clears throat> way less material going on. This would be better for the summer, I think, and just better in general, because if you want to wear more layers, you can. With this, you kind of don't get a choice. You're gonna be warm around your waist no matter what. Um, looking further into the pants, <clears throat> one big thing you'll see, there are back pockets on these infamous pants here. There are no, there is no booty pocket on the carbon pants. They kept that pretty light and pretty tight as far as that all goes. Take another step down. Both of them do have a pocket for your squeegees on both sides. Uh, the ProDNA ones are a little more pronounced. Um, whereas the carbon ones are a little more kind of seceded into the pant, way more discreet, which again, totally fits the branding of carbon. Um, moving on further down, I will go to the crotch regions here. Uh, both of them do feature <clears throat> different material for the crotch to allow a little bit, a little bit more breathability uh, for underneath and kind of in between. So that is a nice, <clears throat> very considerate feature. Um, and then we'll go down to the ankles here. Uh, I love that there is a cinching uh, piece here that actually hold tight around your ankle and not allow the pants to be open and kind of flapping while you run. I think that's better for keeping your profile more together and I just find that more comfortable. It makes me feel like more secure in my pants. The carbon pants, <clears throat> um, not so impressed with that. Uh, just really, yeah, it's just kind of open and just kind of a super straight leg kind of look. It's, it's like wearing like skinny cut jeans versus straight cut. Both have that slim look, both have that kind of slender uh, appearance, but the um, the straight cut is not gonna taper quite as nicely. That's what I'm looking for. I feel like there's a better taper. You can even see, just looking at the cut of the legs here, um, there is a better taper for the infamous pant versus the total straight leg of the carbon. Um, but if I flip them over, look at the front. Get these legs all sprawled out. <clears throat> so if I'm looking at it here, tons of similarities on the front. Small branding on the right leg, small branding on the left leg for each of them. Otherwise, relatively plain throughout the front because the uh, design is on the side here, and likewise for this one, it's on the outside. Um, pockets both zip. Uh, love that. I'm going to actually investigate both pockets here and see which one kind of feels better on the inside. Um, 
Okay, I can fit my hand, can't quite fit the outside hand fat into this one. Ooh, with uh, That was with the infamous, versus with the carbon, I can get all the way, like, like most of my wrist all the way into the pocket. So far deeper pocket on the carbon, and I can also feel it's lighter, has this kind of mesh on the inside, versus with the uh, infamous pants, it's more of just a solid, kind of that reinforced Kevlar-like material, and that's cool. I'm glad it's not gonna rip or tear. It'll be probably pretty protective if you for some reason wanna play paintball with your phone in your pocket, but I don't know. Uh, for pants, I really like breathability. Like, I, I will take a lighter, more breathable pant over pretty much any other feature, um, but let's talk durability a little bit here. So, just touching <clears throat> the infamous pants here, kind of investigate for stretch, stretchiness too. Not the most flexible, in like the actual pant material. Like I said, the waist is good, but then if I go to the carbon here, all of this has a ton of pull, a ton of flex to it. Like I can get at least an inch or two of distance when I start to pull apart on this. So a lot of flexibility here. This feels way more breathable as well. These infamous pants, you're not getting any breeze through this whatsoever. So rugged, yes, durable, absolutely. Breathability on you know in 95 degree weather playing in Florida, Maybe not so much. Um, now, as far as durability, especially in the knees, that's really the bit, that's the main spot where people blow out their pants in paintball is gonna be those knees. Um, there is four different layers here that I'm seeing, or different sections where Infamous has built the knee itself where most people are gonna have a knee placement. This is all double stitched, super reinforced. Um, definitely seems like they put some thought into it because I can tell with layering it, they're, they're expecting stress points instead of just one big spot that all gets the same amount of stress, they're breaking up that stress into three or four different spots to try to distribute that better. And instead of having tears, they have seams where the tears probably happen more commonly to hold on a little bit better than just the same pieces of fabric getting rubbed over and over. Now on the outside here for the carbon pants, you'll see that you can't see anything. You can't tell what any of the stitching is or where any of the reinforcements are. So I'm actually gonna flip it inside out really quickly for us here so we can look at it as I get something in my eye. Um, so you can see, carbon stuck with the single patch idea, and it is thinner. Uh, I feel like this is a little less so than the infamous pant. However, um, carbon is known for holding up for quite a long time, and something that Joel would want me to point out is that they have all their stitching on the inside. So it's not even being exposed to any of the elements. Like, the actual stitching itself for this reinforcement pad <clears throat> isn't seeing any contact with the ground is what it is. So I do think there is going to be some benefit to that. I really think that's um, a pretty strong point for the carbon pants and their simplicity. Um, but as far as overall build and overall materials, how everything feels, I really think that the infamous pants feel far more durable, for sure. The carbon pants make me think they're not going to be, but for how lightweight these are, that might, honestly, for me, that might be worth the extra 20 bucks in pricing, genuinely. Especially because carbon pants are known for having good longevity as well. But considering that you still you have better pockets, you still have uh, pockets for your squeegees, like you have all the functional important pieces. Less attractive, sure. Um, but durability wise, I don't think there'll be too much of an issue. And for the amount of weight that you save, I think uh, for me, that's worth $20. You're already, pay you're already over the $100 price point. You're already into the hundreds plus a couple tens, right? Because 130, 150. <clears throat> At that rate, what is an extra $20 for comfort while you're playing and not overheating? I think that goes a long way. My only actual true gripe with these pants is this ankle. I wish that this was tapered and that it would have a more of a cinching kind of piece like this one. But beyond that, <clears throat> I genuinely do think that the carbon pants here are going to be the better buy. Um, and yeah, oh, and also fresh, I should point out too, both do have the drawstring ability to kind of draw it in. Um, but yeah, uh, I am gonna try these on really quick and then we're gonna wrap from there. All right, so I got the carbons on. Uh, these are XLs. Uh, they do still feel a little tight up here for me, like up in the, the booty meat area and like around the waist and whatnot, but this is probably what I would go with. I don't know if I would go for the 2X for myself. I might, I could see myself getting the 2X, so I'm 5'8" about 210 or so, waist 34, 36 inch or so. So also just, again, the straight leg kind of look here as you'll see, what's up boss? <clears throat> um, so the straight leg, it's really not too drastic, but I do prefer more of like a cinched kind of ankle. But yeah, this, I think these are nice. Again, the big thing is that they're way more stretchy 
and the material is way more breathable. So I'm gonna try on the infamous ones just to kind of confirm that. All right, so now I got the infamous pants on. So honestly, actually, now that I have them on, they are not nearly as like restrictive as I had said that I thought they were gonna be. So this honestly really changes the conversation for me. I'll even hear kind of one of these, one of these, <laughs> all that good stuff. I don't know, man. Uh, <clears throat> So I can, I got all the range of motion just fine. And I have my nice ankle pieces and butt pockets. Mm. For the money, saving 20 doll hairs. Yeah, uh, the carbon pants are very nice. And for the fact that they are kind of lighter a bit, they are still a bit lighter than this. You could argue for 20 bucks, but if you're in a pinch, or even if you just, if the weight isn't that much of a thing for you, because they are they are a bit more breathable, but this is not nearly as drastic as I thought it would be. Still has pockets that zip. Still has pod swap, or not pod swap, uh, barrel swap pockets. I don't know, man. Uh, infamous pants might be kind of where it's at. But that being said, thank you guys for watching this review. Thank you for being on the channel. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe here to us. Drop a comment. Let us know your experience using either of these pants and what you thought of the video. And when you're done here, use the link in the description to pick up either one of these, whichever one you thought was better. And we'll catch you in the next one. I'm so free.